In this CompelStore.com internet marketing tutorial, we're going to be talking about sitemaps. Sitemaps are used with Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster Tools. This will accomplish a few different goals, the first of which is to tell Google, Yahoo, and Bing about your website. Give them an essential list of the different web pages and different elements of those pages on your website. This way you don't have to wait around for the search engines to come and crawl your website. You will have already submitted your website to them. The second goal that this will accomplish is to increase the total number of pages on your website that is indexed by the search engines. This will increase your organic traffic. The more web pages you have indexed, the more possibility there is for people to find those web pages when they're doing different searches. By utilizing Google and Bing Webmaster Tools, it will also enable you to view key statistics and events occurring on your website. So let's take a look at how to submit your website to Google Webmaster Tools. With apparel stores created through CompelStore.com, your sitemap is already formatted for you. What you'll need to do is go to your website and go to the end of your URL and type in forward slash sitemap dot xml. Now to humans this looks like a bunch of crazy talk, a bunch of gibberish, but to computers and bots, which is what Google and Bing uses, this makes perfect sense. It tells them exactly where they can find the information they need to index a website within their search engines. So to submit your website to Google, you're going to go to google.com forward slash webmasters. And what you're going to need to do is create a free account. This is an absolutely free tool. We're going to go ahead and just click sign in because we already have an account. And this will bring up your dashboard. If you just created a brand new website, you won't see anything here. Uh, but the next thing that we're going to want to do is to click add a site. And we're going to go ahead and tell Google where our main website is located. And you do not need the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Next, we're going to click continue. And Google will now want us to verify that we actually own this website. Uh, our website is registered through GoDaddy, so we're just going to use that process. Um, however, Google has a lot of other methods that you can use to verify your website. Uh, it makes it nice with GoDaddy because you can go through the automated verification process. There are also many other domain registers that Google has listed that also have a somewhat automated process. But we're going to go ahead and verify this domain name. After you have verified your domain, you will now be at the site dashboard. And there's a lot of different options here that you can look through. Uh, you won't start seeing data for a lot of these op options for a week or two. Um, but the sooner you can get your sitemap submitted to Google, the sooner you're going to be seeing this information. To tell Google where your sitemap is located so it can start crawling your entire website, what we're going to want to do is click on Crawl and then click on Sitemaps. And we don't currently have a sitemap submitted, so we'll come up here and click Add slash Test Sitemap. And we're, it's already got our domain listed, so we're just going to need to put the sitemap.xml. And we'll go ahead and test this sitemap. After a second, it will allow us to click on this button to review the sitemap results. And as you can see, there's 130 URLs listed in there, and we have no errors that were found. So our sitemap is good to go. We can go ahead and submit this one. So we'll click on Close Sitemap Test. We're going to click on Add a Sitemap again, and we'll type in our sitemap.xml. 
and now we're going to go ahead and submit the sitemap. Now it'll take about five to ten minutes for Google to actually register the sitemap. Uh, then you'll be able to go ahead and click refresh this page. Um, well, actually, that was a lot quicker. Um, it's already gone through. It's submitted our 130 URLs. Um, and it generally takes about three to four days for your home page and some of your other more important pages to actually start showing up in the search results. Uh, and then in about 15 to 30 days, you'll start seeing all of your web pages being indexed in the search engine. The nice thing about this is, though, every single time that you publish a new product um, and essentially publish a new page on your website, it will automatically be submitted to Google um, and also Bing once we get registered with Bing. That is an important point, so let me repeat it you only need to submit your sitemap once. Now we're going to do the same thing only with Bing. And by submitting our sitemap to Bing because they're a strategic partner in search with Yahoo, we're also going to be submitting our website to Yahoo. So we're on bing.com forward slash toolbox forward slash webmaster. And we're going to go ahead and create a new account. A nice feature that Bing has is that by submitting our website to them, we're going to earn a $50 coupon for advertising on Bing. And we can use that in Bing products as well, which we'll cover in a later tutorial. But let's go ahead and create this free account. So after we've created our free account, we're going to have the same type of dashboard as we saw with Google Webmaster Tools. To add our site, we're going to simply click Add Your Site, and Bing is going to ask for some information about our website. The first one is going to be the URL, and the second one we can go ahead and add the sitemap URL. Next, they're going to ask about our website traffic. I'm just going to leave all day because uh, the shirt shop that we are submitting the sitemap for is relatively new. Then it's going to ask for some personal information. Next, they're going to ask for the website's industry. And make sure that you choose the correct industry because this will help to categorize your website when it's being indexed. Next, Bing will ask for a little bit more information about you and your business. And finally, just a few other things about if you would like to receive alerts, if there are any errors, and if you would like to receive Bing Webmaster communications in general. I definitely recommend leaving these the way they are. That way you'll be notified if there's any crawl errors, sitemap issues, anything like that. So we'll go ahead and click Save. Next, we will need to verify that we own this site with Bing by including this piece of code on our website. We'll show you how to do that. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is copy this meta tag right here and go over to your website. Once you've logged into your website and you're on your dashboard, you're gonna to need to click on the appearance tab. Now what we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to customize the HTML template. Now we've done that in some of the other tutorials, uh, so this is just going to be an extension. And we're going to need to click on Custom Layout, and we're going to need to paste this code in the head section of the HTML. So as you can see, this is the opening head tag, and then we've got the closing head tag right here. So we can just paste that right here and we'll go ahead and click save and continue editing and we'll go over to our Bing Webmaster Tools give it a second to update and then go ahead and click verify now that we have verified our website and submitted our sitemap it will show up here in the sitemaps area there are also a lot of other pages of information within Bing Webmaster Tools just like Google Webmaster Tools uh, that you can look through and familiarize yourself with. Um, but essentially we are done submitting our website to Google and Bing. 
So that's going to do it for this tutorial and submitting our websites to Bing, Yahoo, and Google. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below this video. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one.